Hi there, I'm Scott from Haltech. Every week we receive hundreds of questions on our tech support hotline, emails, Facebook, and YouTube. In this new Q&A series, we're going to be answering some of the more common and interesting questions that you guys have been asking. Our first question today is, what's the difference between a flying lead, terminated harness, patch loom, and ECU plug and pin set? So, I've got sitting here in front of me a couple of different harnesses. Now, the first harness that we've got is our flying lead harness. So, this is a two and a half meter long harness. It's terminated with our ECU connectors on one end. It's got a fuse box assembly already assembled for you. Then, open ends on the other end. So, you would use this system for something like an engine conversion where you've put a different engine into a different car. You'd wire this out into the engine bay and then terminate or shorten these wires to length to suit your application. Now, the next setup that we use is our short harness. So this harness is 1.2 meters long. There's no fuse box and no relays. Now, this harness is used when you're patching into a factory harness. So all the work would be getting done under the dash. You'd wire the Haltech wires that you need into the factory harness. Often you could be leaving the stock ECU there to control other functions of the car. In the same fashion as the short harness, we also do the plug and pin set. Now, the plug and pin set comes with the pins that actually go into the connector. So if you want to repin a factory car, you would cut the factory connectors off, use the crimping tool to crimp our pins onto the factory loom, insert them into the Haltech connector, and you're ready to go. So they're the three custom style harnesses that we do. We also do direct plug-in or vehicle specific patch loom kits. So this one here is a 2JZ harness connector where a factory loom would plug into this end. And you can see that the other end is terminated as the Haltech connectors. So you would simply plug this in, plug a Haltech ECU in, load the base map, and you're ready to start and run. Now, the last style of harness we do is the terminated engine harness. Now, this harness is the full length, so basically this is fantastic for, this is actually an LS2 harness. So if you put an LS2 into a different model car, you would use our full terminated harness, which is all set up to length. It's got all the factory connectors on it. You would set this up, it all plugs straight into all the factory sensors on your engine, load the base map, the car will start and run. You simply need to supply power, ground, and the switched ignition switch. The second question we've got today is about base maps. It says, can I please get a base map for A? It's a really common question that we get asked. So at Haltech, we've got a huge range of base maps, which we've put all together. We've put them into the Platinum Series software package. So once you install the Platinum Series software, if you're using Windows, go to My Documents, then Haltech, then Base Maps. Once you're inside the Base Maps folder, you'll find a huge range of all the different models of cars. Double click through until you find a base map to suit your application. Now, if you've got something unusual and you can't find a base map in there to suit your car, email us at support at haltech.com and request a base map. Our next question is, which of your ECUs have flex fuel support? So all of the Sport, Pro and Elite Series ECUs offer true flex fueling. So that means that you can run any mixture of petrol and ethanol and the ECU will accommodate this. Now, keep in mind that the Pro Series ECU is a direct plug-in ECU and may not have the inputs and outputs required to run the flex fuel sensor. In that case, we would need to use an IO expander to allow the input of the flex fuel sensor. And we're on to the last question of the day. Is the Elite Series compatible with my Haltech IQ3 dash? Well, the answer is yes. The Elite Series ECU has got a CAN port out the front, which is actually a four pin DTM connector. It also has a CAN port coming out the main ECU connectors. So depending on how you'd like to install your unit, you've got the option of both. All of the dashes that come from Haltech now are supplied terminated with our DTM4 connector. So we'd simply plug it into our connector, make sure it's sturdy, and your dash is ready to go. That's all for this episode of the Haltech Q&A. If you've got any questions that you'd like answered, leave them in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.